Hello everyone, welcome again in Angman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue our learning on Prosper software. And in this video, we will perform nodal analysis for oil well with coil tubing gas leak. All right, so it will be very interesting and important. We will perform nodal analysis in an oil well with coil tubing gas leak. All right, so let's go. We open this section. You can follow me. Fluid, oil, and water, method, black oil, separator, single stage separator, no emulsion, PVT warning, disable warning. All right, and then for the water viscosity, we use default correlation, viscosity model, Newtonian fluid. And for the well section, flow type, we will use tubing flow and well type producer. For the artificial leaf, now this is important. We open the drop down. Then we go to this one, coil tubing gas leaf. And you can see the flow type will be disabled because we will use coil tubing here. And for the type, we will use no friction loss in coil tubing. But sometimes we can also use this one, friction loss in coil tubing. But let's start simple. We assume no friction in the coil tubing, all right? And then for the calculation type, we can leave it as it is. We assume offshore system, rough approximation, and for the range, full system. Default for brine properties correlation, well completion case hole, and sand control none. For the rest of war, inflow type, single branch, no gas coning. All right, so we can click done. All right, and then we will open the PVT section. All right, we will wait for the system to be ready. After this section, we will go to the PVT section. All right, here we go. We go to the second section, open it. All right, so this is the PVT input data window. You can follow me for the solution GOR 800, standard cubic feet per stock tank barrel, oil gravity 37, with gas gravity of 0 0.75, water salinity of 25,000 ppm, no H2S, no CO2, no nitrogen, and for the bubble pressure, bubble point pressure, solution gas oil ratio, and oil formation volume factor, we will use Glasso. And for the oil viscosity correlation, we will use Bill et al. correlation. And actually, if you have the laboratory data, you can also perform PVT matching. First, you open this match data and you input your data, the temperature and also the bubble point. And after that, you can perform PVT matching. But we will skip it for this video so that we can focus on the coil tubing itself. All right, so we can click cancel. And for this, this section, we can click done. All right, so from here, we will go to IPR section. We open this section. All right, so in this video, we will use composite reservoir model to build or to generate the inflow performance relationship. So we can click this one. All right. This is very easy. The reservoir pressure, for example, we assume 3, 4, 50 PSIG with reservoir temperature of 210 degrees Fahrenheit. Water cut, let's assume quite high, 80% no compaction permeability model, and no relative permeability data. And for the reservoir model data, test rate, for example, 10,000 stock tank barrel per day at bottom hole pressure of 1970 PSIG with this water cut. Okay, you can validate, click the validate button. The IPR data set is valid, all right. So now we can click calculate. 
this is the AOF or maximum flow rate. So 17,180 stock tank barrel per day. We can click plot results, X axis variable rate, Y axis variable. We are interested only for the pressure for the time being. So we can uncheck the temperature, highlight the pressure and then click done. All right, so this is our IPR. Y axis is pressure, X axis is rate in stock tank barrel per day. Okay, so this is our IPR. You can also click, for example, the plot settings, cursor data, show all. You can see the value of the cursor, right? And this is the X axis value and Y axis value. This is the flow rate and this is the bottom hole pressure. All right, so far so good. So we can click finish, done, and we are done with IPR section. Okay, so from here, we can skip this section for now and we go to this equipment data section. Double click and we will edit some input data section, deviation survey, downhole equipment and geothermal gradient and also gauge details or not average heat capacities. We will check it. So click edit. All right, so the first thing is the deviation survey. You can follow me, zero at zero, measured depth and true vertical depth, both are in fit. And then 600, also 600. 1,005, 1,000. 40, 75, 4,000 feet. 7,700 at 7,500 feet. And lastly, 9,275 at 9,000 feet. Okay. So far, so good. You can see the cumulative displacement and the angle. And we can click plot. All right. So we created a deviated well. Finish. Very good. Click done. And the next section is the downhole equipment. Okay. So let's go. Christmas tree at 600 feet. And then we add up a tubing. Measure depth down to 1,000 feet with tubing inside diameter of 4.052, tubing inside roughness of 0 0.0006. All right, and rate multiplier one. And the next one is the subsurface safety valve. So open the drop down, SSSV with two bank inside diameter of 3.72, red multiplier one. And the next is tubing again, down to 9,000 feet. The end of the tubing with the same inside diameter, the same tubing inside roughness, right? Red multiplier is also one. And lastly, casing. All right, it will end up at 9275, casing inside diameter of 6.4 with default casing inside roughness and red multiplier of one. All right, so far so good. We can click done. All right, and then the geothermal gradient, you can follow my data for the overall heat transfer coefficient. 8.64 and then for the temperature formation measure depth and the temperature formation temperature zero x at 60 degrees fahrenheit at christmas tree depth the temperature is 40 and for the reservoir depth 9275 the formation temperature is 210 
and you can check the gradient by clicking the plot button. All right. Finish. Done. Lastly, just to check average heat capacities for oil, gas, and water, we can use the default values. All right, so far so good. We can click done and check summary. This is the table. And you can also click drawdown hole to check the well sketch, Christmas tree, casing, SSSV, casing, and lastly, the casing also. Actually, this is tubing section, safety valve, and also tubing. Okay, we can click done, done, done. And we wait for the system to be ready. Yeah, you can see the well sketch here. All right. And then from here, we can go to this section, coil tubing section. First, we need to input the information for gas lift gas data. 